Pixel OS, Lineage OS, Nitrogen OS, a Resurrection Remix. Oh boy, I have covered a lot of custom ROMs on this channel. Now, let's dive into another chapter of custom ROMs. This is called Droid On Time, aka .OS 3.0, is an aftermarket firmware based on Android 9.0 Pi, which brings a pure AOSP experience to your smartphone. So, I have installed it on my Pocophone F1, and I will be talking about everything about this ROM in this video. Hey guys, this is KSK Royal. Let's get started. If you want to install a .OS 3.0 on any Android device, make sure you're having an unlocked bootloader, a TWRP custom recovery installed, then you need to have a latest vendor as well as a firmware file for your specific device as well as a ROM itself and Google applications. If in case you're having a Pocophone F1 just like me, boot into TWRP, then wipe the system, data, cache, and flash all of the files in respect to order. Again, if you want to know more about the .OS and how to install all kind of thing, just go check the link in the description the first link will which we're gonna take you to the website where you can read everything about the step-by-step -step guide anyway talking about the initial impressions of the .OS 3.0 are pretty much straightforward I have been using this ROM for two days now and I'm really enjoying this ROM and yeah the good thing about the official custom ROMs are you will get a OTA updates like the normal MIUI inside settings there is an option called a system updater where you will find the new updates of the ROM when it comes to futures oh boy this ROM has a lot of stuff in it inside settings you will find an option called a dot extras using this feature Feature, it will help you to customize anything according to your fancy for example if you don't like the recent app switcher of an Android Pi well don't worry head over to dot extras recent panel then change it to Oreo style when you select this option the system UI need to restart to affect the changes now you can see with one simple click you have changed the recent style when it comes to dark mode yes dot OS supports a next level dark mode head over to display UI style from here you can choose any preset that you want to apply my favorite style would be at this one a dot os a neo ui once you apply it you can see the entire system ui has up to the dark theme i mean the good thing about the dark mode uh, on any of the custom roms is some of the custom roms don't support the dark theming for the notifications but dot os does support for the notifications too that's pretty much amazing and as a bonus feature you can also change the accent color according to your fancy just go ahead and choose any accent color and that that's it. You can see the entire system UI has adopted it. When it comes to gestures, there is an option called a tap to wake. Once you have enabled this feature, you can simply a double tap anywhere on the screen which will wake your device and it's pretty handy especially if you want to see any notifications. Unfortunately, a rise to wake feature is not yet available in this build. Also inside the quick tiles there is an option available which you can add a more toggles by increasing the size of rows and columns. Overall I would say this ROM is having a power packed features. All of the normal features like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LTE, LTE, fingerprints, phase unlock, UPI applications does work fine without any issues. Now moving on to the performance, I would say it's super smooth. There is a no lag or stutter that you may encounter at any point. All of the applications opens up super fast. Everyday tasks can be done with an ease. As usual, I have played a big games like Asphalt and Legends, PUBG, and the gameplay was super smooth. When it comes to PUBG, there is a no lag which I have faced so far, and the entire gameplay was super impressive, and I'm getting addicted to .OS day by day. Overall, I would say the performance is impressive and very smooth when it comes to normal applications or games and definitely it will stand out in my top 5 list. As usual, like other ROMs, I ran a benchmark applications like Geekbench and Intuitu and these are the scores which I got on my Pocophone F1. And last but not the least, the most important part of the custom ROMs are the battery life. When it comes to battery usage, I normally get around a 4 plus hours of screen on time usage. Again, this is my usage. I mean, I do play a lot of games and if you are if you are a minimal user like uh, using a just for the WhatsApp or watching videos, then you will get a good battery life. For a fair and minimal usage like using uh, your phone for navigation and YouTube or uh, watching Amazon Prime, any kind of thing, you will easily get around a 6 plus hours of battery life. 
life overall i would say the battery life you would get on this rom is amazing anyway guys that's pretty much about it if you like this video hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe and consider clicking on bell button to get notified that's it guys thanks for watching this is ks carol and i will catch you in my next video peace